To be ignorant of what has happened before you is to be ever a child. For if no use is made of the labors of past ages, the world must always remain in the infancy of knowledge. The great Roman philosopher, Marcus Cicero. But how rarely in this modern world do we look back? Ah, in an age where the new models quickly replace the old ones, we tend to think that this is also true in the areas of human wisdom and character. To us, people within history simply are for learning about, not learning from. But who has time for these predecessors? We are barely able to keep up with our contemporaries. Yeah, now we see. The problem is time itself. This troublesome variable, this persistent illusion we all experience. This is why I have developed an interest in the system of micro-learning. Come with me. So, we might say, to exhaustively grasp the whole of even one man's life would logically take the entire length of our own. But if we subtract the times a man sleeps, eats, relieves himself, says imbecilic things about topics no one cares for, we can distill the nucleus of the person into roughly 15 minutes of pleasant reading. This is not a joke, this is science. Imagine meeting a new person. Instantly, they say something thoughtful and profound, grabbing our attention in a striking first impression. Interested? We want to know more. And quickly, we are able to learn all about that person's life, contributions, and how exactly they have formed the wisdom they are now offering to us. And after a few minutes, we emerge a broader and deeper individual. It even talks. Science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is organized life. Immanuel Kant. And if it inspires us, we can always go back and dig deeper into the person. It is like speed dating, the giants of history. A mind without instruction can no more bear fruit than can a field, however fertile, without cultivation. Yeah, yeah, but education is what remains when one has forgotten what one has learned in school. And natural ability without education has more often attained glory and virtue than education without natural ability. Well, no offense, but I think I like the way I said it better. And we can always go back and revisit someone, or catch someone we might have missed. Those who deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves, and under a just God will not retain it. Ah, very good, very good. Sometimes I wonder whether the world is being run by smart people who are putting us on, or by imbeciles who really mean it. Now there's a good looking man. And clever, too. Now we see, improving yourself is quite simple. It only takes a few minutes a day. Suffering from a broken heart? There's a piece of wisdom for that. Seeking perspective on money and success? There's a piece of wisdom on that. Getting an entire schnitzel lodged in your throat? Well, life can be quite overwhelming sometimes. But remember, slow down and chew. Nothing that was worthy in the past departs. No truth or goodness realized by man ever dies or can die. Thomas Carlyle. Wisdom on demand. There's an app for that. Eye wise for iPhone.